a medical journal has appealed to voters for the first time. Staunchly non-partisan for over 200 years, the journal is often ranked the most trusted and influential in the world. It describes the government's response as an astonishing failure, noting that the US death rate is double that of Canada and almost 50 times that of Japan, which has an elderly population. The statement is only the fourth to ever be signed by all the journal's editors, 34 leading experts. It reads, Countries closer to China, such as Singapore and South Korea, began intensive testing early, along with contact tracing, and have had relatively small outbreaks. Many countries have outperformed the US by orders of magnitude. The US continues to be way behind the curve in testing. The useful metric is the number of tests performed per infected person, a rate that puts us below such places as Kazakhstan, Zimbabwe and Ethiopia. US test results are often long delayed, rendering the results useless for disease control. You should not reimburse somebody for getting a test that it takes more than 48 hours to get the result back. That test is a complete waste. And so all these numbers about how much we test, the, the majority is, is just complete waste. You need to get it back as soon as possible so that somebody can change their behavior uh, so they're not infecting other people. And in much of the country, people simply don't wear masks, largely because our leaders have stated outright that masks are political tools. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it. He shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. The United States came into this crisis with enormous advantages. We have a biomedical research system that is the envy of the world. We have enormous expertise in public health and basic biology. Yet our leaders have largely chosen to ignore and even denigrate experts. Tony, Tony Fauci, he's a nice guy. He said, this is not a threat, this is not a problem, don't worry about it. this, is not that what's a problem, it's the craziest thing. But he's a nice guy, so I keep him around, right? We'll keep him around. Instead of relying on expertise, the administration has turned to uninformed opinion leaders and charlatans who obscure the truth and facilitate the promulgation of outright lies. Almost everyone, 85%, who got the coronavirus in July was wearing a mask, and they were infected anyway. So clearly this doesn't work the way they tell us it works. You know, they keep saying nobody wears masks, wear the masks, although then they come out with things today, did you see CDC? that 85% of the people wearing the mask catch it, okay? That is not true in any way. There is no study that suggests that at all. Let's be clear about the cost of not taking even simple measures. The hard work of healthcare professionals who have put their lives on the line has not been used wisely. While most of the world has opened up to some extent, the United States still suffers from disease rates that have prevented many businesses from reopening, with a resultant loss of hundreds of billions of dollars and millions of jobs. Although it is impossible to project the precise number of additional American lives lost because of weak and inappropriate government policies, it is at least in the tens of thousands in a pandemic that has already killed more Americans than any conflict since World War II. If President Trump at the rally said, everyone put on their masks, it's good. Put it on. Anyone else who recklessly squandered lives and money in this way would be suffering legal consequences. But this election gives us the power to render judgment. Reasonable people will certainly disagree about the many political positions taken by candidates. But truth is neither liberal nor conservative. Our current political leaders have demonstrated that they are dangerously incompetent. We should not abet them and enable the deaths of thousands more Americans by allowing them to keep their jobs. Of course, most people don't read medical journals. You know about QAnon. Is there anything you can tell us that I don't know? JFK Jr. is still alive. What? This guy is always behind Trump at the rallies. It may seem like the election result is sealed, but that's precisely why it's not. If people think their votes will make no difference, they will make all the difference. In one of the states that determined the outcome of the 2016 election, the winning margin was just two votes per precinct. If you saw one person in serious trouble, you wouldn't hesitate. 
The men who caught the ten-year-old boy suffered broken bones, but the boy was unhurt. Models suggest that another 200,000 Americans could fall to coronavirus by February. It's in every American's hands to help catch them. Please leave a comment encouraging people to vote. Is America in a better place than they were four years I ago? I believe absolutely. We now, have higher now. unemployment, we have 200,000 people dead due to COVID, and we have riots in the streets. Yes, let me just tell you this much. Yes, I'm doing much better. I'm literally making four times as much as I was making when Obama was president. What do you do? I work for a debt relief company. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now, as a debt relief employee, you make more money under Donald Trump. Yeah, I do, yeah. And please join us to help fight misinformation on healthcare, climate change, nuclear weapons, cage farming, and more.